G'day, I'm Mark from Salsa Fish at Me. I'm down in the poultry pen, got the quail pen in the background. Plenty of ducks around and chickens at the moment making all that noise. But what I wanted to do was just give a bit of an intro to this video which is taking the quail from the brooder and putting them into their adult environment. In this case it's a large quail pen. It's the one I built years ago, 7.2 metres long, 2.4 metres wide. That's quite a substantial size and I can keep anything up to maybe 70 to 100 of birds in there if I want to but at any one time I've usually got around you know 25 to 30. Sometimes it gets you know it goes less than that sometimes a bit more. So without any further ado let's get into it. Well I had no idea how awful the sound quality would be on my GoPro this new GoPro that I got for Christmas so you'll have to forgive me for post editing and doing some voiceovers because that was the only way that I could make the video audible. Nevertheless that's not a big deal really. So here I am at the beginning of the quail release getting them out of the brooder cage and then taking them down to the pen. They've been in here long enough three or four weeks effectively the heat lamp's been off now for a day they've been happy to have it off you can see by their behavior they're not grouping together they're not cold but you know just through observation you can see that they're getting their main feathers and they're old enough now especially in a warmer climate like this to be safely let out. It never ceases to amaze me how big they get from when we first put them in there from the incubator to now three or four weeks later they're just huge but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark every each one of them with this zip tie just around the, the leg the bottom of the foot to indicate to me when they went into the main cage with the other adults well, I'll get them out one by one and put them in this cage They're quite feisty. This one here is a female with the spotted breast. You can't tell them all by by looking at them. You can't always tell the sex just by looking at them like that. But in this case you can. Put that around the foot. They've still got some of their baby feathers but uh, they're going to be fine to be put out now. Make sure that that can't is not too tight, but also that it can't go over the knuckle. Yep, that should be fine. Give enough room around that yep, to grow. Next, another, another female, that's good for my breeding stock. Okay, but yeah, I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine all up. Alright, now we've got the nine quail, out of the 21 that I started with, it's a pretty poor result to be honest, but uh, you know I had that 
freak thing that was that storm that come over and they seemed to beat themselves up or die or perhaps it was some freak virus that swept through half the, the flock never happened to me before but anyway still nine good healthy quail left at the end of the day so I'm happy with that I'll go into my pen and they'll probably won't become food they'll become my breeding stock and maybe you know, in six or nine weeks they'll be breeding up again, laying eggs for me, and then that stock could turn into food once my stock breeds up again. Right, these guys are going to love it, going into their proper cage with mulch on the floor. Oh, they got their food here what I'll do is I'll fill this up but they will soon get used to following the other ones there for a drink on the nipples but I'll give these guys I'll top this up anyway because just because if they can't find food or they they can't eat that's not a big problem but if they can't understand how to work the nipple waterers immediately within the first day or so well in this heat they'll die so I'll put this in the cage with them and when this runs out of water they will soon see that the other birds are using the nipple drinkers and learn from them. Look at this beautiful Tibetan specimen. Big, big bird. Very big bird. Lovely bird. Strong. Probably offspring. A couple of those darker ones. Be the offspring. I'll look, whack that just on the side here. So that those birds can find that then I'll let them out here I've got to pick up quite a few eggs actually I'll do that tomorrow but because uh, it's getting late now but yeah they got their food they got water I'll let them out getting into the night time so they'll be able to settle down and have a sleep when it gets dark and then in the morning they'll be in their new environment practically their wood chip pen they'll just love scratching in this and having some good fun after being on that caged floor, which is of course for their, for their own good, but now they, you can see how excited they are to, to, to get out. Go. Last one. See straight away. Straight away they're into it. Playing. Takes them five seconds to start making their own little dust bath. That's what they really love to do. And not that I you know, oh, I guess I do, frown on people a little bit who keep quail in cages constantly. Um, if you do keep quail in cages, I'd recommend you at least give them a sand, a sand bucket or a little sand pit or a mulch or something in their cage for them to play in. Because just like chickens, they love playing in the dust and the dirt and that's a natural behaviour for them. Just keep them on a wire all the time, that's just cruel in my opinion. That's why I like to keep my quail in a pen like this. Well, one of the reasons. All right, that's the quail release done. That went rather well, I think. And now over the next several days, I'll just monitor these quail 
and make sure that they are drinking, make sure they're eating, check on their health, I'll identify them through the tags on their leg and uh, yeah just keep an eye on them. In the past in many videos I've mentioned the advantages of keeping quail in a large enclosure like this if you can but one of the best examples or advantages is that the males have a tendency to fight each other and they can become territorial but in a large pen like this if they ever get real confrontational or try to injure each other they can always run away and that in itself is a big plus. Yeah, well I'm happy with the way these new quails are, are doing. They seem to be all strong and healthy. They're learning how to drink from the drinker, or they have learnt. Uh, they're eating, putting on weight. Yeah, they're going to be good. They'll be added to my breeding stock. Well, I hope you liked that video. This is the other side of the quail pen. I thought I'd give you a look at a different angle for the outro. And I've got the sun in my face, so I'm trying to get a little bit of shade. But yeah, that, that's really how it is. Um, pretty simple, getting the quail from the brooder and putting them into their adult environment. 
If you have any questions, whack them down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and go to the website selfsufficientme.com. I've written a bit about quail. Just go to the quail section under the poultry tab. And yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Boy, it's hot out here.